Caleb. Hello, today with Caleb, we are back with another pickups video, this dealing with DVDs and Blu-rays. I'm kind of doing what I do categories now, which is kind of weird, but kind of keeps, keeps me focused. Uh, we did a Pops kind of toy one, we did a Disney one, we did VHS uh, pickups video. So this is everything, DVD, Blu-ray, well there are a few that kind of missed the mark, uh, they were supposed to ship yesterday, but they did not, so those have to be the next pickup video we do, but we'll start with one that was at McKay's that I was going to get, it looked fantastic, Tyrone Power, Maureen O'Hara, great uh, subject matter, all about pirates, uh, the black swan, the syn synopsis sounded great. The only downside was it was like 20 bucks, and I did have trading credit, which I did use, but 20 bucks for an older film, even though maybe warranted, I don't know. Uh, I decided to wait and look it up and see how rare it was. Did I make a mistake? Did I not make a mistake? Well, this was four dollars free shipping, so I think I made the right, right, right decision. It has its inserts and everything, mint condition DVD, so. Wise decision there. Good move on my part. Now this is something that just happened when we got back. Uh, I bought this uh, movie hoarders from VHS to DVD and beyond. Because my most, uh, a lot of my friends are in this. So, heard the buzz. Uh, why was I not called? <laughs> Just kidding. I was, I know I was uh, in the Pennsylvania area, so of course my star has not shined its brightest yet. I will be on the dock. I've been on movies and TV shows, so uh, my 15 minutes are not up yet. Anyway, bought two copies of this, uh, but he sent me. The seller sent me this, and he sent me this, so I contacted him, and he said, ship this back, no problem, it would ship another one, but I've got burned so many times when I would send stuff back, you know, they say, send it back, we'll ship you a, another, a copy, brand new copy, and then they get their item back and it never materializes. You're out that item. So, and it wasn't my fault. The, the seller mixed it up and sent these two instead of these two copies. I bought them at the same exact time. Not going to rent, but uh, wasn't my fault. So I didn't feel like I should pay the four or five bucks to reship this. Uh, concern it wasn't my end, it was their end. Still in limbo on that, but I did 
look this up and it goes from anywhere to 60 to 100 bucks so I need to see if I'm going to keep it uh, because it is so rare and uh, kind of pricey I would never probably get it again so I need to decide if I'm keeping this or selling it either way it beats this values because this was like 12 bucks this obviously 60 so their mistake my fortune uh, just joshes out this movie but he said he would watch it and go from there then we have a blu-ray of faculty very underrated movie in my opinion uh, right there with Scream and actually the the screenplay writer of Scream and Scream 2 wrote this and the director of Sin City oh Robert Rodriguez why did I not remember that Robert Rodriguez wrote or directed this I'm sorry the screenwriter of Scream and Scream 2 wrote this so that is cool. Kevin Williamson, that's his name. But I bought this. I do have it in a DVD pack. I bought this because I'm going to MegaCon to meet Brendan Fraser. Yes, I'm so excited. Uh, but I do have an autograph ticket to get Elijah's Wood, Elijah Wood's autograph. So I figured this would be kind of unique and uh, so it wouldn't be signing a thousand copies of Lord of the Rings. I decided to do this. I thought about Sin City but he he doesn't have a big part in Sin City and it's not something as a comic book fan I wanted that but then I thought about it and faculty right there in that sweet spot he's fantastic in this good cast good screenplay good directing even though it's Robert Rodriguez he's hit or miss uh, so Elijah will sign Faculty Brendan will sign my Mummy Still Book and my Mummy Returns poster we will film as much of Megacon as allowed I don't know what their restrictions are, but that will will come. Stay tuned. Then we have the Urban Legends Trilogy. Urban Legends, Urban Legends Final Cut, Urban Legends Bloody Mary. So this is kind of a rare triple feature here of this set. Uh, kind of pricey online, but I got it at Macari. The only downside was uh, Final Cut is a flipper disc and sometimes the flipper disc is more prone to get scratched. I tested both sides. Both sides did not work. So contacted the seller. He gave me a good discount or uh, return. What am I trying to say? Yeah. A refund, a partial refund. So I'm waiting on the Urban Legends Final Cut. I got a DVD lot of that. Then Three to Tango, some Nev Campbell. We have Osmosis Jones DVD, and it comes with uh, this bonus sampler of music from P.O.D., Sugar Ray, bunch of people. I thought that was neat. The disc is mint. Minty fresh. Uh, so, had to upgrade that. Then we have Chinatown, some Jack Nicholson. Revenge of the Bridesmaids. Lord of the Rings, uh, the Fellowship of the Rings, some National Geo. Always cool to have some Nat Geo. Then White Men Can't Jump. Woody Harrelson. 
Wesley Snipes. Then this is an, a big upgrade. Actually, this was an upgrade too. But Sugar and Spice had this on VHS. Desperately wanted to upgrade it. Really fantastic. Uh, a movie. Kind of a, a heist. A twist on the heist film. It's kind of a comedy. Kind of a heist. Kind of a romantic comedy. Uh, but these cheerleaders essentially pull off a heist. Very well done. Cyclops is in it as well. Then I did get one volume uh, of Mr. Bean on DVD. The role, uh, let's see, Grin and Bean It. Then we have Polly Shore in the Army Now. Then we have some Tom Arnold, because Josh was going to go to a convention with Tom Arnold. Not sure if he's still going, but I wanted to upgrade these nonetheless. That is Big Bully, Rick Moranis, Tom Arnold, Tom Arnold, if I can talk. Fantastic movie. Then Carpool with Tom Arnold, obviously. Another fantastic movie, very underrated, uh, a good family film comedy. Then, last but not least, we have Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, the complete series. This goes for a little bit online, uh, so I was hesitant because at McKay's they had three or four seasons of Sabrina. I had the first season, but did I want to go down that road of, they were like 20 bucks, 15 to 12 to 20, kind of that range per season. I needed five more seasons, so you do the math. Not a good price point as far as per season. So someone had this, it has a little crack somewhere, that'd be right here, there's there's a teensy little, oh here it is, teensy little crack, you can barely see it, It. I mean it doesn't affect it closing or opening, and he was selling at a huge discount, I think I got it for like 15 bucks shipped. So you can't beat that at all. So got that. Watched a few episodes because I detest the discs. They they were minty, most of them. But I think there was one disc where there was light scratches. So I heard the mail. I don't know if you heard that. But let's run and see if there's anything that I need to add to this video before I say my goodbyes. <laughs> there actually was a package for me so I think my first like live unboxing I have done unboxings before where they were kind of pre-opened but this is I think my first one where I do it live well live <laughs> so yep that is everything so like I was saying uh where is it? With the the Urban Legends. Where is that? Here we are. So Final Cut was destroyed. The other two worked and played fine. Uh, no issues there. So we have... Oh! That was loose. But it seems to be minty. That looks... That looks great. I don't know if you can see the disc there. Need to decide about this. I'll probably just slip this insert in here. If I can. So. Uh, Urban Legends Final Cut. A minty version. Then. Oh. I need to get a new case for this. Quarantine. I did not have. So it's sad to watch that. Then Ghost Ship, an upgrade uh, from VHS to DVD, so that is fantastic. 
looks to be in good shape there. So I gotta leave eBay feedback now uh, for the two items. Well, actually, I left feedback for the other one because he did do a partial refund, but now leaving feedback for this. So that was a surprise. I wasn't sure if the mail was ever going to come today because it is later in the day now. Wasn't sure what was going on. Sounded like his his vehicle was having a little mechanical issue there so it didn't sound like it was running all that well but glad to have this I need to go back and watch the first two urban legends because they are so great especially the the female cop I believe she is in both both movies the first and second uh, movie My, my man Anthony Anderson uh, met him in Hollywood uh, 07 yes 07 did uh, Till Death he was on that show uh, briefly I don't think he did the second season uh, but great cast need to rewatch that like the video subscribe share with a video lover until next time, guys, wait on those packages. They will come and keep collecting.